Hey Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Fool. So it looks like you are ready to take a leap of faith and go in a specific direction here um, with regards to both your career and love, it seems. I feel like you're really um, inspired by a relationship or inspired by what couldn't come out of a relationship. I also feel like with regards to work, there's a new opportunity, a new offer coming in that's making you feel like, okay, finally, I have a chance to see something different, do something different. Um, I feel like this is something that might be new for you. Maybe you're walking into a different career or a different type of job that you haven't necessarily done before. Maybe you have some experience, but I feel like overall, this is gonna be a new opportunity for you to utilize um, your skills, but also develop new ones. So I see you becoming very good at something that um, is going to challenge you, but also be very exciting for you at the same time. So overall looking really good with regards to uh, work because I also feel like this new opportunity is going to bring in more money and more um, stability in your life as well and I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for for some time I feel like you've been making um, attempts to work at this new place or to attract a new job for a while now I feel like for the last the last like four to six months you've been kind of on the hunt and I feel like now it's finally coming through and you're feeling really good um, about this offer this job um, with the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're also being very careful about your money. Um, I feel like maybe because you are transitioning from one job to another, or maybe because there is this new opportunity coming in, you may be thinking, okay, I need to save up before, you know, I feel a little bit more stable or before I get these um, checks coming in. Because I feel like there's something here that you're planning for. Um, or just overall, you want to be prepared. You want to be um, financially secure because I feel like you're trying to, um, you know, have some sort of savings or ability to maybe invest in something in the future. Maybe you want to buy your own home or you want to move. I just feel like you're being very savvy right now financially uh, because you have something that you want to really be able to provide for and focus on in the near future. With the Page of Wands and the Fool, I feel like you're looking to expand your horizons in a particular area of your life. I really feel like you're just taking a leap of faith. Um, and I think this does have to do with overall, like your perspectives, what you're doing for yourself. I feel like you're looking for more ways to have fun. You're looking for more ways to maybe meet other people or just do things that are of interest for you. You could be paying attention also to your health. So maybe you're spending more time exercising or you're spending more time, you know, um, maybe eating certain types of food or I just feel like you're exploring something but it's for your benefit. I feel you really taking a chance here to give back to yourself the quality of life that you deserve and that maybe you've sacrificed for some time because of a um, specific type of work environment or just lifestyle factors. I feel like now you're finally in a place where you can dedicate your time to improving yourself, fueling yourself and just overall um, enjoying your, your life more. With the moon and the lovers, you could be connecting to a water sign, could be a Pisces, uh, but overall, I feel like you're also letting yourself um, kind of go into the deep end or into the unknown when it comes to love. I feel like you could be connecting to a person here, and I feel like it's at the beginning stages. I feel like you and this person just kind of made it clear that there is interest, there is some chemistry going on, but I also feel like you are really just okay with things being how they are at this time. I feel like you're going with the flow of this relationship. You're just kind of letting it do, like see where it goes. You're not trying to force anything. I feel like you're getting to know this person very organically, very naturally. And overall, I feel like it's going to lead to a very beautiful connection, very beautiful relationship. When I see the lovers and the two of cups, to be that saying that... Um, you know, this has the potential to be, you know, a soulmate, a twin flame, however you want to see it. 
um, but I honestly feel like this is a really great pairing and again you're not really afraid of the unknown when it comes to love at this time you're honestly just accepting the fact that you can't figure someone out in a day or you can't you know expect you and someone to connect you know 100 percent um at the beginning so i feel like you're just very open accepting there's a very calm energy about you right now aries i feel like you're just taking things in stride going with the flow um taking in this new offer really focusing on yourself at this time as well like your well-being your health um you know like you're just very narrowed in at this time Let's clarify the Page of Wands. All right, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is, again, you trying to look for other ways or new ways to give to yourself. I feel like with the Knight of Cups, cups um, you're pouring into yourself, right? Like you're really um, giving yourself options. We also have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is you saying, okay, what do I want to do? Um, what are my options for this? And, you know, I guess you're just exploring. You're really free at this time. You're exploring your options. You're not limiting yourself to one way of doing something or one type of, you know, experience. I feel like you're just very free, very, um, again, flowy. I feel like you're like water right now, even though you are fire. Um, you, you are kind of flowing like water. Your attitude about everything is just very like calm and peaceful. And I think it's because you're no longer worrying about this opportunity because it finally came through. And so this was the most important thing, I think, in the recent past for you. But now that you finally see this coming in, you're like, okay, now I can just focus on what I want to do, um, enjoying my time. And to further clarify, the um, Page of Wands, we have Four of Cups, Six of Wands, Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. So it's interesting because with the Four of Cups um, and the Two of Swords, it's almost like that feeling of, okay, what do I do now? You know, when we have that free time and we're no longer worried about something that we've been worrying about forever, you're just kind of like thinking like, okay, how can I utilize this new energy that I have? How can I, you know, utilize this time that I have now that I'm not worrying about this? Or what do I do first? It's almost like you're trying to figure out where your priorities are and what to put at the top of the list of things to do. But overall, it's a very positive um, energy. It's a very positive overthinking. It's not like, you know, worst case scenario. It's just now you have things to do and you, I mean, you've always had things to do, but it's like now you have things that you want to do in your disposal and you're just having to really figure out okay what do i do first so it's just finding that balance with yourself um and with the six of wands and the ace of cups i feel like you're just like i said before you're going to be very successful when it comes to love and i think it's because the type of person that you're manifesting at this time aries seems to be someone that gets you seems to be someone that respects you that understands you they understand your drive your determination what you're trying to do um, and i feel like they're going to be a very good person to also help you move things forward so this could even be someone that you find um, or that you meet in business or in work this could even be someone that you develop something you create something with them and it turns out to be a success so it's almost like this love um, the power of it is going to transcend into other areas of your life so that's a really beautiful energy um, to see but definitely new love coming in for you if it hasn't already all right, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Death. All right, yeah, definitely something has come to an end for a new one to begin. I feel like you're the one that created this new opportunity or you're the one that allowed this opportunity to come through because you decided to walk away from something that wasn't serving you. And by you doing that, by you finally putting the cycle to an end, the universe almost automatically rewarded you with this new offer, this new opportunity. It's like when you believed, when you trusted in the universe and you said, you know what, I know that something else is, something better out there is, is out there, something else that's better is out there for me when you decided to end this cycle because you truly believe that in your heart the universe was like yes you're right here is here it is you know here's a new offer here's a new opportunity here's a new job and so with that it's like you manifested and are getting that uh payback immediately um for really having that trust in yourself and you know the universe so we have the Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Temperance. I feel like for some of you, you didn't know if you were going to really be able to move on to bigger and better things. I feel like you really were having to um, wait. And I feel like your patience was tested. And I feel like for some of you, you may even, 
you might have even thought that you were stuck where you currently were or where you i'm sorry i'm all over the place um you might have thought that you were going to be stuck at where you were before um but then i feel like with enough time you gave yourself a chance to just truly believe and let that faith sink in and then once this clarity came through and you finally got this offer i feel like you realized okay i had to wait for a reason this was always in my path this was always in my destiny i just had to prove to myself that i actually had faith that it would come through so this is both a test of faith uh, you know a proclamation of love a new opportunity like there's so many little messages in this one reading but overall i feel like you know your truth now you know you see the clarity you see everything um coming through and you're believing that it's meant for you and honestly this is just overall a really great energy that you have right now aries and i absolutely love it for you because i really think that you've you deserve it and you've been waiting for it and it's finally here and it's going to bring you everything that you know you hope for so I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.